I like YouTube. So it is finally here that the Oxygen OS 5.0, which is based on Android version 8.0, is finally came to OnePlus 5. So it was already released for OnePlus 3 and 3T before the end of the year. OnePlus promised that they'll be releasing this Oreo build for OnePlus 5, so here it is. So let's go ahead and check out what are the features came to this build. This is the changelog for this build and it is the size of 1587 MB almost uh, 1.5 GB and these are the change logs and we will go ahead and check out all these first of all I'm going to show you the version in the settings menu about phone you can find I'm running on Oxygen OS 5.0 which is based on Android version 8.0.0 on my OnePlus 5 and this is the OnePlus launcher I'm using so first of all in the launcher section we have optimization for shelf and also you can now upload photos to the shot on OnePlus so here this is the shelf you can add more widgets and icons here and besides that if you press and hold in the menu and go to settings menu you can find all these settings shelf if you want to remove you can do it and then you can also customize the home icon layouts and the launcher version is 2.1.7 besides that if you go to wallpaper options you can find the option called shot on oneplus if you click that one so it will load shot on oneplus pictures here and if you are already logged in uh, you will be able to upload photos to this section next for the camera and gallery we have the new camera ua design and added beauty effect for portrait mode and added places tab for viewing photos on map so let's go ahead and check out the new camera app so this is the new camera app and with this new camera modes that you can swipe up and then you can choose all these options here and then if you go to settings then you can find all these options like rear uh, camera beauty mode is there and then short one plus watermark you can add flip photo vertically and as well as you can see all these picture information histogram and then horizontal uh, uh, reference line and the camera app version is 2.5.1 and you can play with this uh, beauty mode on your rear camera it was only available for the front facing camera before so it's a good addition you can also find this places tab for viewing photos on map so if you go to gallery and then in the last place you can find places last tab and you will be able to see the categorization they're done using the places and talking about the app section they have added the history function in calculator as well as added alarm calendar function in clock and then in settings they have added the parallel apps function which is a really good function so if you go to settings menu go to apps you can find these parallel apps and you can make two versions of whatsapp or instagram or all the applications that supports especially the social networking apps so you can use two numbers or two different whatsapp account in the same phone without using any third party applications so which is quite good and it's working really good next you have the new design for quick settings so this is the quick settings menu and if you can customize from here you can add all these icons toggles so it's it's a bit smaller than the previous one and it looked really good and then new design for the lift of display so if you go to settings menu display and then here if you turn on the ambient display you can find this lift of display flip or turn on that one and then just place and lift up the display you can see this is the new uh, design for the lift up display option and then added adaptive model screen calibration if you go to settings menu display screen calibration you can find this adaptive mode and updated the Android security patch to December which is really important so if you go to settings menu above phone you can find the Android security patch level is 1st December 2017 you can see the same option here in the security here on the top you can find security update these are the overall features and everything I've added to this build and obviously because this is an Oreo build they have added the picture in picture so in, in case if you are opening apps or, or viewing app applications and if you're trying to just navigate and then press the volume button so the it will turn on the picture in picture so you can do multiple things at once so the same thing will, will work with the videos as well if the video is playing and when, once you press the home button that will turn on the picture in picture so that is there so these are the all about features they've added and then if you're going going and checking out the benchmarking score this is the benchmarking score the geek benchmark score i've got for this build which is a really good score 
and battery life I am getting a I'm getting a good battery life I'm getting around uh, four hours of screen on time which is a really good and I didn't came across any single app crash or system stack so it is good as stable as that you can use as a daily driver obviously and if you didn't get the update yet go to settings menu system updates you can search for there if you if you are not getting that one then you can definitely go ahead and download the opera vpn and open it and then connect to the canada region and then go ahead and check for the update so you'll be able to get it if you want it early so you can definitely go ahead and try that and let me know what you think about this build in the comment section below so that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more